Hey y'all, I'm Sean. I'm Matthew, and we are Broken Dreams Reborn. And today we're going to give you our top five campgrounds from 2021. You ready? Yes. So keep your eyes on the road and your head in the stars. Follow it down the rabbit hole just a little while longer. You can change anything. Starting right. from number five. Yogi Bear, it's a thousand trails parked in Amboy, Illinois. Yes. Now why was that number five? What do we like about it? It had one of the largest campsites we have ever stayed at. Um, and it was a full hookup site, but that campsite was massive. It really was. There was so much to walk around. In fact, it had a small lake and you could walk around the entire thing and still be on their property. They had waterfalls, they had um, gravel paths, dirt paths, cornfields. They had a lot to look at. They had um, a lot of stuff for kids. They even had a small water park with water slides and everything. That wasn't our cup of tea, but it was a very big park and it definitely deserves number five. And I think it was in the middle of a cornfield. Uh huh. Not far from Dixon, Illinois, which was. Um, filled with a lot of history and that they had, we enjoyed. Yeah, they had full hookups, they had primitive, they had, you could feel like you're camping back in the woods or you could feel like you're in the middle of a resort. They had everything. They even had deer. We saw a deer when we were there oh, on the yeah. other side of the lake. Hey y'all, we're here at a bayou in Orange, Texas. We're at the Shangri-La Botanical Gardens and here's number four, our fourth favorite campground from 2021. What is it? He's going to make me pronounce it. You pronounce it. It's Lake... Tobasovsky. Arrowhead Park. Yeah, in Macon, Georgia, I believe. Yeah, I think so. And We're just outside of Macon. And why was that our number four? Uh, our first impression was its beauty. It's right on the lake. Now, number five was Yogi Bear, and it had a huge resort feel. This is totally different. It's a county park that felt like a state park. It was beautiful. Our front yard was massive because our front yard faced the tent campers. So um, we had a lot of green grass, a lot of beautiful trees, and then it's not huge, so you can walk around the whole thing at your leisure. Uh, you can see the water, and it has a lot of elevation. And Sean and I like elevation. We like to go up hills and down hills. And if you explore the lands enough, you'll see they had some rather private picnic areas and stuff beautiful overlook in the water what did you like about it the scenery of it um, mm -hmm. our campsite actually didn't have full hookups but they did have shower houses but there are sites that do have full hookups so next time we stay yep. there we're definitely going to try to book a full hookup site but and those were pull throughs we had a back end yeah they do have pull throughs and back ends plus it's not that big of a park i think they mm -hmm. had maybe 50 at most um sites for rv so it was very nice yeah if it gets a little you know party hardy on the weekend type vibe but if you don't want to be around a thousand of your closest unknown neighbors then this is a little bit of a better more quaint feel um get to know people around you not too big and a plus bucky's wasn't far from there either so we oh, drove yeah. to bucky's in georgia yep nice place and now on to our number three mm-hmm Which is Pensacola RV Resort. Now y'all, this one was really hard for us to make number three because it feels like a number one top space campground. But why is it number three? We love it because it was a very nice laid out RV park. They had um, pull throughs and back ends and it's mm -hmm. big rig friendly. We saw like two huge, um, what are they? The DRV mobile suite. With a semi truck. Yeah, so if it, they can fit, you can fit. <laughs> it's a very family-friendly environment, too. I mean, we were mm -hmm. there for Thanksgiving. They had a huge Thanksgiving meal where they invited all the RVers and their families and some military. Yeah, the military were invited, too, for a good 
down home cooking Thanksgiving meal. It's in a great location. It's pretty much right off of I-10 and you got Cracker yep. Barrel down the road. He doesn't love Cracker Barrel. But it wasn't noisy, y'all. It's close to the interstate, but it wasn't too noisy. But it was a really awesome RV park. Mm -hmm. um, the owner and all the staff there are super nice um, and very accommodating. It's a very friendly environment, I don't mm -hmm. know if we mentioned, but it had full hookups and I think they provided cable for you as well. Yeah. And that's your thing. <laughs> and we got a good monthly rate. We don't like to stay for a month, yes. but it made sense there. I mean, right. in Pensacola, it had a good rate. Yes. And now for number two, our second favorite campsite or RV park from 2021. What you got? Is Goshen Springs Campground in Brandon, Mississippi. And y'all, this was a huge surprise. Yeah. We lived in Mississippi for a long time. She's from Mississippi. And to be honest with you, at least in this part, we didn't expect this. It was a real gem. And the reason it made our top two is because it was a complete concrete pad. It was like a double wide concrete mm -hmm. pad. They had full hookups. They had plenty of space between the um, RV sites. It was very yeah. quiet. You're not right on your neighbors. And it was right across the street from the reservoir. So we got to go across the street and see some nice sunsets. Yep. And the rates were very reasonable. Yes. So we would definitely check out Ocean Springs if you are traveling through the central Mississippi area. Yes, you won't regret it. All right, here's the moment y'all have been waiting for. Our number one. Yep, Broken Dreams Reborn, favorite RV park or campground of 2021. What is it? Paradise Oaks RV Resort in Bushnell, Florida. Now, Paradise Oaks had, it, they have, it's such a huge place. And they have either grass back ends, they have paved back ends, they have super wide, like double wide, way longer than you need pads like Ocean Springs does. But what sets it apart from Ocean Springs? They have a lot more amenities um, and the grounds are like you're living in paradise. They had a pond, they had these huge live oaks, palm trees, I mean it's Florida. Of course it's paradise. And they have the culture that is unlike any RV park we've been at yet. Now we've only been doing this since March of 2021. So y'all may have been to plenty of parks like this. Let us know in the comments below. But our favorite park, which is Paradise Oaks, has this amazing friendly culture. Everybody waves, and I mean everybody. They wave to you, they say hi to you. If you're walking around, you start up a conversation. Um, we saw a big turtle at one point just walking down the path. Um, there were all kinds of rigs there from newer to older. There were all sorts of people there. It was just great. They had a native alligator in the pond. And what are those birds that are tall? Is it sandhill cranes? Sandhill cranes. They have a family of sandhill cranes. And for the amenities, they have the usual laundry room, workout rooms. They have several, multiple bathhouses that they keep really clean. They also have a woodworking shop where they have all the woodworking tools and machinery and stuff that you can join. They have an RC track, like an outdoor track, not just an oval track. I'm talking four-wheel drive type stuff. They have everything. And it was full of hookups. They also provide cable, but we gave a complete review, y'all. We liked it so mm -hmm. much that we have a full review. We will drop the link down below in the description so you can see our full review of Paradise Oaks RV Resort in Bushnell, Florida. All right, y'all. So that is our wrap up of our top five campgrounds of 2021. And what we would really love is if y'all would make a comment down below, what was your absolute favorite RV park, campground, boondocking spot, your choice of 2021? What is it? Share it with everybody. So please hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. And if you're on Facebook, make sure to follow our page so you never miss an episode. And share it with your friends and family, and we will see y'all later. See y'all. Bye.